Do people often tell you that you're an extrovert, but you're thinking, I love my alone time and sometimes people actually wear me out. Psychoanalyst Carl Jung first described the terms introvert and extrovert. While some of us might mistake introverts as that sort of socially awkward misfits and, and extroverts as that loud, exhausting social butterflies, let's take a look at what these terms really mean. These terms refer to the way people actually get their energy. So introverts prefer to recharge with quiet and solitude, whilst extroverts are energized by social interaction, being with others. It's not about being quiet or loud, shy or social, a thinker or a collaborator, even though these stereotypes are often applied to introverts and extroverts. This kind of limiting belief doesn't help leaders and teams get the most out of their people. In fact, introverts often thrive in collaboration and extroverts may still value quiet for focused work. The truth is most of us are ambiverts. We are a mix of both. We can be easily flamboyant while also needing to recharge at home. We can present confidently at a meeting while also really enjoying quiet research. We can love a night at home with a few glasses of wine whilst also enjoying a wild cruise with friends. Ambiverts are intuitive and flexible, which helps them find success in work and life. They know when to hold back and when to find their voice or opinion. Ambiverts feel just as comfortable leading or following in a workplace. They get energy from human interaction and from quality time at home. So the next time you're out there in the world, have a think about how you're showing up, what you need and the ways you should be recharging. Start to think about whether you lean towards introvert, extrovert, or like many people, you're sitting somewhere in the middle as an ambivert.